woman has insanely long arms. Technically, we couldn't make a believable body at this stage in VR because we only have a single tracking point at this moment. We have the head. We don't know where your shoulders and your body is orientated and what your real hands are doing and what your feet are doing. Uh, we can only animate and then you'd still feel the disconnect and that would be uncomfortable. One arm is uh, one meter fifty or so long, so <laughs> it it gives you this feeling of yeah, I'm just climbing there. You just like you can comfortably cross over with your arms and all that, but if you would have a real body, yeah, it would feel annoying or would restrict you really. So we we had the, the comfort of cheating a bit, since we have so much noise on the level and all the cool details. Once you move too fast, it will make you feel nauseated. So we made sure that you have a slow movement speed and also if the ground is like this and you look beyond this angle, um, we're starting to slow you down progressively until you look too, too much and then we basically stop you. And we call it horizontal speed correction. The same goes for different rotation schemes. So we tested one movement basically where you just instantly snap. We figured out that it is very safe for movement because you don't feel nauseated, but you're really disorientated because you didn't see the movement. You just knew, okay, I'm now looking in this direction. So what we have is this pie chart rotation. You still rotate in incremental steps, but you do it really fast. And it's fast enough to not make you feel nauseated, but slow enough for you to perceive this movement and not be disorientated. Achieved with CryEngine.